My name is Maggie. May I have your name, please? Hi, Maggie. This is Jamie Irish. Hi, Jamie. How can I help you today? So I've been working on these two Excel documents. I'd like to see them side by side. Can you help me with that? I can definitely help you with that today. And I see here we're authorized to provide you with remote support. Would you like me to view your screen today? Yes, please. Could you open up a website for me and go to vitalist.net, please? Great. I can see your screen. And let's take a look at these two Excel files. Here's the current business data that I need to analyze, and here's the other Excel document. So yeah, I just would like to see both of these side by side. Is it okay if I move the mouse around? Sure. If I move my mouse, I'm going to go to the View tab, since we're wanting to change the view of our current files. Mm -hmm. And in the View tab here, towards the right, this Arrange All option is what we're going to take a look at. Once you click on it, it opens this second window. Mm -hmm. And you can choose how the two files will be compared. Vertical is a great choice for just two files that you're viewing. And now that we have that selected, I'm going to choose OK, and we'll see it happen here. Perfect. Real quick, I actually would like to do a pivot table. Are you able to help me do that? Of course, I can help with that. I'm going to move my mouse and show you here an easy way to do so. You can click and drag with the mouse, but it's a little bit faster to use the keyboard shortcut. If I click into A1, I'm going to hold Control and Shift and use my arrow keys and across to the right. Now I'm going to release Control and Shift, and there's a special button that comes up down at the bottom here, this Quick Analysis tool. Why don't you go ahead and click on it? So we have a lot of choices here. Let's take a look at those tables. It's showing me a preview. That's the live preview feature. And it's really great because it gives you a lot of quick layout options without having to set it all up yourself. OK, now I like this one right here. And that's the one that I would like to save. All you need to do is click on it. I think that looks great. And now what I need to do is save it so that I can work on this when I get on the plane in two hours. OK, and are you going to be using this device or another device when you're accessing it? Um, most likely my Windows phone. So I'd need to save this into OneDrive. If you go into File and choose Save As. I see here you already have your OneDrive set up. So you just need to select the folder you want to save to in your OneDrive. And at this point, now that you saved it to OneDrive, it's going to be available across all your different devices that have access to OneDrive. Take a look at the home screen of your Windows Phone and see if you see a tile for OneDrive. OK, I got it. I'm going into it right now. Look at that. It's right there in the business folder. That's awesome, Maggie. Thank you. You're welcome. It was a real pleasure. And please have a great day. Give us a call back if you have any other questions.